Good morning and welcome to the show and thanks for waking up with us. This morning we're waking up with James Mixon from Ulta, Ulta Beauty Salon out in Pier Park. James, welcome to the show. Thanks How you doing, Don? On. Thanks, buddy. Now, you know, it's the holiday season. People want to look their best, particularly the ladies. Maybe they're looking at a new hairdo. You know, maybe if you got curly hair, you want to make it straight. Maybe you have your straight hair, you want to make it curly. You're the guy to see to do all that, aren't you? Yes, sir. Yes, I am. Now, what makes Ulta different than maybe other beauty salons? Well, I think that Ulta is just, you know, the salon in Ulta is a high-end salon. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, we have, uh, we're open every single day of the week, Monday through Sunday. I think that the convenience to be able to come into the salon on a Sunday or a Saturday is great, you know. So, you you know, you can call and always get an appointment anytime that you need. You know, there's no waiting. You can see different stylists and stuff like that. And I'm there pretty much all the time. So, whenever they're ready to get fabulous, they can come see me. <laughs> get fabulous at Ulta. I like that. Now, you've got some products here. Uh, and what, what are these all about? These would make actually pretty good Christmas presents. Yeah, these are they? great Christmas presents, Don. This is uh, just some stuff that's actually um, Ulta Beauty things that mm -hmm. uh, just Ulta carries. And it's got different yeah. hair brands like um, Big Sexy, and it's got some. Big um, Sexy. That's what I need. <laughs> I need some Big Sexy. It's got some cheese yeah. stuff, some keratin stuff. Um, you know. Did you say cheese? Chi. Chi is a chi. brand. Oh, yes, chi. sir. <laughs> I was like cheesing your hair. I mean, what's that And about? then it's got like okay. some hair bands yeah. and some hair buns and stuff like that. Just real cool stuff for uh, people to have for the uh, Christmas time, you know, different products that they might like to use. It makes a nice little stocking yeah, stuff for just it's a good. nice little gift under the tree. Yeah, it's $20 and ain't nothing to it. Yeah, yeah. And, it, and it's great little, uh, and it's a great brand as well. Yeah. Now, you guys sell some other stuff there as well, don't you? Yeah, we sell, um, I think we have over uh, 20,000 different products in Ulta that they sell between makeup and skin and hair and everything you know the salon's a full service salon you can do anything there we do perms hair colors cuts anything that you can think of we also do nails we have a, a makeup artist a skin therapist i mean it, it pretty oh, much man. you can get it all at ulta really that sounds like a pretty big deal yeah you know, it is it sounds like a big salon too can i get a pedicure there i wonder <laughs> don't do pedicures but <laughs> oh, we do well, do the jail nails you don't want to so, see my feet yeah. anyway so <laughs> <laughs> well I, I know you brought a couple of models with you today. yes sir and I just wanted to show a couple things for uh -huh. the Christmas holidays and just different things yeah. that we can do. And then we got uh, Courtney with a K. Uh, <laughs> is it Courtney with a K? Yeah, <laughs> we got Courtney with a K, and we got uh, Cassidy as well. And you've done some stuff with their hair. Yes, sir. That uh, maybe you can uh, show us about and, yeah. and how you can change your look at Ulta like you did for these ladies. Yes, sir. Let's run off to the local weather, and on the other side of that, we'll get to meet them and check out their hair, and maybe you can show us a few little tricks of the trade. <laughs> We'll be right back after your local weather brought to you by the West Pittman Law Firm. WestPittmanLawFirm.com. Welcome back to the show. I'm here with James Mixon from Ulta Beauty Salon out in Pier Park. And his two lovely models, we got uh, Courtney with a K and Cassidy with a C. Uh, ladies, thank you for... for putting up with us today. Now you're gonna, uh, you're gonna show us something that you've done with her hair. Now you had some really interesting before and after shots of Courtney's hair. Yes, sir. What yeah. was her hair like before you got well, to she it? had some, uh, it was kind of like a curly, wavy kind of hair, mm -hmm. had some frizz and stuff like that. And you know, Don, the thing is with women's hair now is that women with curly hair, they want straight hair. And women with straight hair, they want curly hair. Yeah. So what we do at Ulta is something called a care straight, which is we come in, we straighten the hair, it stays straight for about, three months, around three months, mm -hmm. so they don't have to get up and do all that flat iron and work with the hair. And you can see from the before pictures how wavy it was, and now it's just so silky. If they uh, mm -hmm. get a little red and diamond oil, put it in their hair, run it through, it just makes it so nice and silky, keeps it straight, you know. They, you um, carry a full line of Redken products. Carry a full there. line of Redken. Yeah. That's my product that I like mm -hmm. to use, you know, it's one of my favorite. But you can see from the before picture to the after. I mean, her hair is just so beautiful. It's just, oh, it, it was so nice healthy. before, but yeah. it just makes it healthy. It makes the hair feel nice and soft and keeps it straight. And with Panama City weather, you know, sometimes it can oh, yeah. get big, so it's nice to keep it nice well, and straight. Well, with the humidity down here, it's like frizz central if you have curly hair. Yeah, it is. So it looks real nice, and that's something we do at Ulta. We do it all mm -hmm. the time. And the holiday season coming around, you want that nice straight hair to go to the Christmas parties and stuff. This is the perfect thing to come out and get done. Right, right. Now, what, now what's going on with uh, Cassidy here? Well, now, Cassidy her, You here, colored her hair as well. Yes, and mm -hmm. so we got her hair colored, and she's going to um, say she comes home from work and she wants to do something. She's going out later or something. We sell this thing at Ulta called a uh, wrap-up, and what you do is you just take this. Well, hold on. Let's we'll turn over here so we can get a good yeah, shot of this. Can you spin a little of that? That way yeah. thanks all right so here we, we go so we pop it in the hair like this and uh, we squeeze it down 
pull it out, give it a nice little wrap, mm -hmm. get it in there, tuck it around, and boom. And then boom, you pull the hair around. And that took you all of like 10 seconds. Yeah, that, well women they, like, like it fast sometimes when they're in a hurry, you know, yeah. they got the man saying, let's go, let's go. And they uh, are ready to go. We pop a bobby pin in it. So if you're like busy mom or something too. Wow, that, that thing's pretty interesting. Hit it with some hairspray. Yep. <laughs> you okay in there? Okay. <laughs> pop a little. Uh, Oh, very nice. Something on the top like that. Turn yeah. around, and there you go. You're ready to go out. Yeah, and, look at uh, that. That's like a perfect nice bun. You got a little thing on there, and it took literally 10 seconds to do 15 that's it. seconds. You know, hair do. don't have to be hard. It can be easy sometimes. Yeah. If you use the right products and you use the right tools, hey, there's nothing to yeah. it. Yeah, so you, you can you can teach us a few of these tips, I'm sure, if we go down there yeah. and say, what can I do with my hair? Yeah, come to you Ulta. Know? Let me uh, show you some tips. Let me teach you some things, show you some things, and uh, do some great color and some great, great cuts. Great evaluations, hair. too, you know. And, and, you know, now her hair, would look, like I said, looked fine on, on the curly side, but it's different now, and it looks it looks healthy. Yeah, it know? looks great. It's just, yeah. it's the want, Don. You know, it's the want that we want. And we yeah. want straight hair, I can give you straight hair. You want curly hair, I can give it to you. Can you give me any hair at all? Because I'm getting a little, <laughs> you know, okay. You're, you're a beautician, not a magician. I've heard that one before. Oh, it's funny. About James Mixon, thank you so much for coming on the show and, uh, and getting us smart about this stuff. And it's at Ulta. And if you want to make an appointment, who do we need to call? Just call Ulta anytime. Just make an appointment with James. Okay, and what's the number? Oh, you don't know? God, That's okay. Know. We'll find you. <laughs> we'll Google up Ulta at Pier Park. <laughs> and we'll be right back after these messages. <laughs> Hi, I'm David Lovett, and this is your Mad Hatter Minute. Uh, today we're going to talk about fuel economy, gas mileage, how to get better gas mileage. And it's real simple and a real simple thing that, that you can do at home. There's actually two main factors that, that, that go into your, to your gas mileage. One is a clean air filter, and two is proper tire pressure. Your air filter is it's the first filter on your vehicle. Uh, takes air, fuel, and fire to make your vehicle go. Air comes in through the intake. There's a, there's a filter uh, to stop any type of dirt and debris and trash and bugs from getting inside, inside your motor. That filter gets clogged. It gets dirty, and it can't breathe. And when the engine's struggling to breathe, it has to increase the gas ratio, which, can, which throws your, gas to, to, to your air to gas ratios off, and your vehicle doesn't want to run right, and you start losing gas pressure. Check your, check your air filter every time you have your oil change. Have your oil changed every 3,000 miles, and just, have, just pop the hood and have your, your service technician check that air filter. If it's dirty, change it. The second, the, the, the second thing that affects gas mileage most is your tire pressure. Look at your tire pressure. You can get a tire gauge or you can stop at any service, service station and they can, they can take, uh, test your tire pressure. Typically, tire pressure on a passenger vehicle runs around roughly right around 35 pounds. If you really want to know the exact, exact pressure, look at your tires. On the tire itself, it'll say 35, max 35 PSI. That's the maximum amount of pressure you want to have in your tires. And if you also want to know, you can look on your car, on the, on the pillar, on the inside of the front door. It'll also give, give, give the tire pressure. That's the pressure you need to be running at. Running too low makes the tire flat, and it creates drag. So it takes more to start your vehicle running. And the, the harder it is to run, the, the more gas that you're going to burn. This has been David Lovett, and this has been your Mad Hatter Minute. Welcome back to the show. I'm here with Heather Noyes from Raymond James Financial to get our financial tip of the week. Welcome back to the show, Heather. Great. Thanks for having me. You know, um, there's, there's been a lot of controversy over, let's say controversy, you controversy <laughs> over healthcare recently. Mm -hmm. But there is a thing that I've heard about called a, a healthcare savings account. Mm -hmm. Is that the proper term? That is. What exactly is that and how does it work? Well, and uh, that's something that kind of ties in along too with what we've been talking about the last couple of um, uh, shows and some tax planning things that you need to consider for year end. So a health savings account is something that you can put your money into and it's either done pre-tax or it's tax deductible mm -hmm. depending on if it's offered through your employer or if you're self-employed. If you're self-employed you can contribute to it and deduct it off of your taxes. Why would you want one of these things? Um, well number one for the tax deductions mm -hmm. and the money stays in that health savings account and grows tax deferred. Mm -hmm. And then when you need it for any health care expenses, it comes out tax free. Wow. 
Yeah, so it's so tax, it's really tax, tax free, money free all the tax way. free, and tax free for mm -hmm. your healthcare expenses. So if you're, if you've got uh, uh, maybe some health issues, or maybe you may anticipate, you know, having long term care somewhere in your mm -hmm. future, mm -hmm. would that be? Could you apply that health savings account to that? Um, to some of the some mm -hmm. of it, yes. Yeah. Um, but also for if you're, I mean, for anybody, if you're planning to have a surgery, you know, you've got to have a surgery coming up. Um, there are some limitations on what you can contribute. Mm -hmm. um, it's $3,300 $3, if it's just an individual, um, or if you are if you have a family, mm -hmm. uh, then it's $6,500 that you can put into per it. Per year. Per year. Now, unique with the health savings account versus what's called a flexible spending account. And if we can talk about that if you want, but mm -hmm. uh, what's unique with the health savings account is if you don't use that money, it stays in that health savings account. So for any future you know, uses, so you may not use it this year, but something may come up next year that you can use it for. What if you never ever use it and you just pass away from natural causes <laughs> one day, like we all want to go in our sleep? <laughs> what happens to that money? Is this something that you, you, your heirs can inherit? Yes, they can, mm -hmm. but it would be a taxable. You know, then event. it becomes tax. Right, Two right. things you can't escape, death right. and taxes. But I mean, yeah. traditionally people in the end would need some type of care or could pay for some kind of medical expenses. But I think it is unique that you can build it up over time. And if you're not using it, when you get to be 65 and you want to help pay for Medicare supplements or your co-pays and things like that, you've got a nice pool of money perhaps, if you hadn't drained it down, that you can use um, to pay mm -hmm. for those types for of co expenses. For co-pays. Yes, absolutely. And co-pays, I know you always have to reach that deductible with and your co-pays mm -hmm. before, you know, like in my case, TRICARE. Mm -hmm. uh, starts covering 100%. Right. So th that's, an, that's an interesting concept. Now, you know, Americans are, you know, live in the present, not really big savers, are we? No. Um, we, most of us have life insurance because we're all going to die. We know that. But when it comes to health insurance or health care, savings or insurance, we don't anticipate that a lot of times, do we? Uh, no, but I think that obviously you should. And then in the my finan financial plans that I do, we actually take into consideration that cost of health care throughout your retirement through um, what your supplements would cost, what your mm -hmm. co-pays would cost, and the cost that Medicare is going to uh, be over the term of your retirement as well. So if I wanted to learn more about these health care savings accounts, mm -hmm. where could I go? What could I do? Just give, give me a call and I can give you some more information at my office is 785 9614. Heather Noise from Raymond James Financial. Thanks for getting us smart on healthcare savings accounts. And we'll be right back. Welcome back to the show and Merry Christmas. During the commercial break, the elves came in. I changed my shirt and we're all ready, aren't we, Christine? We are. We are. <laughs> I have Christine Stringer <laughs> here from Avenue C in the studio now. And welcome to the show, Christine. Thank you. It's good to see you again. Yes. I, we had a great time at your place shooting for that little Christmas special that we did for Fox. Right. And it was on location shoot. We walked through your place. What an elegant, yet casual and classy place you have there, I must say. Thank you. That's our goal. Yeah. Is it? <laughs> now, how long have you had the, the, the shop? Avenue C, for those of you who don't know, is on Harrison Avenue, right downtown. 542. 542 Harrison Avenue. And it is just a beautiful little store. Well, thank you. We have been, we celebrated our sixth birthday this year. I worked about a year and a half before that. Well, happy birthday. So. <laughs> Uh, we're going on to seven. Yeah, and what gave you the idea of opening up a place? Now, if you had to classify your store, would you say it's a furniture store? Would you say an accessory store? What, what would you call it? It kind of defies description when I walk in there because it's just eye candy everywhere. It, that's a mm -hmm. good phrase. Thank you yeah. for saying that. And our goal was to have a beautiful shopping experience that was fun and inspiring mm -hmm. for people that wanted to redo their home. My experience had been that I couldn't find what I wanted when I was redoing a home around here. Mm -hmm. So we pride ourselves on having things that are different, having uh, lots of choices, and so that you can, we, we set up in vignette styling with our furniture, furniture, accessories, furnishings. Mm -hmm. We could furnish your home except for your appliances. 
So we have quite a yeah. lot of space. They have some original and stuff. I know you had some one-of-a-kind items there when I was there, which really struck me. We do. Mm -hmm. I just recently bought into a furniture line that's one of a kind, mm -hmm. and it's made in India. Uh, most of it's old stuff that's brought over, uh, and they're just fabulous pieces, and they truly are one of a kind. You can get a similar look from catalogs, but mm -hmm. this, these particular ones are, are old pieces that are brought over, and some part of them at least. Uh, with reclaimed wood is part of a monument or, part, or just a beautiful architectural statement. So we're having really good luck with that. Wow, you know, and that's that, great. And, and it's funny you should say that you could see it in a catalog, but I have bought art on the internet. I have bought things on the internet. And when you get it, you're almost like, not quite what I expected. Yeah, yeah. There's really no substitute for really going in there, touching, feeling, looking, that's seeing true. it. And we do have beautiful original mm -hmm. art also. And we're trying to buy now, we're buying some more affordable, less expensive art because the economy hasn't mm -hmm. been kind to uh, original yeah. art with nice framing. Well, you are kind but of a high-end place, aren't you? We I mean, are. Yeah. We pride ourselves mm -hmm. on that, but we also pride ourselves on having something for everybody. So anybody that wanted to shop could come into our store and find something from two dollars up you know mm -hmm. and a big thing with us is I'll go ahead and say is tablescapes and I just want to remind people that when you come in uh, many 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 people say wow and it is a wow experience mm -hmm. but I want to remind people that we are a retail store and we set those tables up for drama and beauty and I know a lot of the younger people particularly think, how would you sit down and eat at that? <laughs> so, <laughs> no. so we really plan, you know, yeah. this is the dramatic piece in the center of the table, but I know 12 inches high is, you know, so that uh, we, we will help people learn to set up a table so that you move a piece and you have your, comf well, your family so show dining. Us, show us how to use those beautiful things. We have to run off to a break, but on the other okay. side of that, let's look at some of those beautiful gift items that you brought in with okay, you. Great. And we'll be right back after these messages. Welcome back to the show. I'm here with Christine Stringer from Avenue C. You've got some of your elegant gift ideas right here in our little studio. Christine, what am I looking at here? I love those glasses. We uh, brought some things just to show you some ideas mm -hmm. for gifts. We, we have this goblet and that water mm -hmm. iced tea size and this particular glass uh, mm -hmm. bubble bottom. And we have about 12 colors in this. Mm -hmm. So those are a great impact statement for $12 a piece. Great impact with. Really? We have chargers to match linens, you know, that will go with those. And you've got some some metal uh, a metal cooler here, which this, is kind of a heavy duty deal. Absolutely, yeah. this is a new line for us. We picked this up this year to enhance our bridal registry, and it is hand cast five times, and their logo is uh, it is. Baking me, chilling me, serving me, <laughs> and yeah. never polish me. That's very unusual for metalware. I'm going to make that and my slogan. I'm going to make quality. that my slogan. <laughs> Chill with me on waking up with Don. That's my slogan. I'm going to adopt that if that's okay. Oh, that's Steve. fine. Thank that's you. That's fine. But this is okay. a beautiful thing, and i got to tell you, it is ice cold. We have lots of beautiful cold. styles, different styles, mm -hmm. uh, pedestals, cake savers, et cetera, et cetera. Lots of, I would love for people to come in and check that out. It's been very good for us. Now, if somebody walks through the door, uh, what kind of experience would they expect to get? I mean, are you going to get personalized attention, or, or are we going to be left alone to browse? Or I think when people walk in, we like them to be able to look and appreciate what they're beginning to uh, see and feel. We are there to help them. We provide excellent service, but we don't ever want them to think that they don't have the freedom to shop at their leisure. So we typically will say, hello, uh, you know, if mm -hmm. you have questions, please ask I us. gotta tell you, when I was there, it was like a trip to a museum. I mean, it was so beautiful. And my wife actually had been there before me. It's just, you have to go to this place. Eh, yeah, okay, whatever. That's you typical. Know. And the, yeah, the, the guy's <laughs> like, yeah, whatever, I'll see it someday. And then we went to go do that Christmas special at your place. And I was like, wow, so this is what she was talking about. Now this little guy, he's kind of my favorite. He's not so little. This is, uh, I, I think you introduced us earlier to Gus. This, and, uh, 
That is a great composite. Yeah. And there's a story with Gus in, mm -hmm. in that we got him. He's a big old and giant he became pelican. so popular that we've sold more than 200 of those. And wow. so we named him Gus. And we tell people they can name him whatever they like. Mm -hmm. But the cool thing about Gus is he's beautiful, natural. Mm -hmm. He can sit on a back porch where there's a hint of weather. Mm -hmm. And you can change with any season by just putting a ribbon or a dress yeah, around his I think neck. Gus is all dressed up for the holidays. And here, visitors huh? love that. Yes, locals as well as visitors. Yes. I'm going to call mine Frank. Okay, I, I Frank. don't know why, but. Frank's good. <laughs> Frank's good. Good solid name. Christine, we are so out of, we are so out of time. It's not funny, but if somebody wanted to learn more about Avenue C, what could they do? We have a website, AvenueC.com. Mm -hmm. uh, we have a business Facebook page. Right. And if you want to get a notices about our events, if you will call, we'll add your name to the mailing list. Awesome. And I see our Mark Roberts just yeah. fell up. <laughs> One of our little characters that's great for Christmas. Christine fellow. Stringer, thank you so much for coming on the show and bringing these beautiful things with you. Stop thank by you. Avenue C when you get the chance, and we'll see you next time.